Lionel Messi is probably the best football player to have ever lived. He's won every possible trophy and awards and he has unreal career stats. And it is sad to see his career coming to an end. But today we're going to try and give him an even better career than he's already had. We'll be replaying his career through 15 seasons. Messi's age has been reversed and he's again 18 years old and he's ready to take on the world. He's been given an overall of 78 based on his FIFA 06 rating. Messi will also be trying to complete these objectives based on his career achievements. He has won 8 Ballon d'Ors in his career but we are going to give him an objective to reach 6 Ballon d'Ors because he only got 15 seasons to play. And so far in his career Messi has scored 735 club goals. But that is impossible to reach on FC24. So his objective will be to score 400 goals which will also be difficult. That means Lionel Messi is going to have to average around 27 goals per season. And if we are going to try and give Messi a better career than he's already had, he's going to not only have to win one World Cup, but two World Cups. Messi won three Champions League with Barca, so we are going to try to win him four Champions Leagues. Messi has been accused of only being able to do it in La Liga. So in today's video, he's going to try and disapprove that by winning the title in the top four leagues. La Liga, Bundesliga, Serie A, and the Premier League. And if he's going to become the undisputed gold, he's going to have to reach an overall of 99. This is Messi's current stats. He's got great pace and dribbling, but his shooting, passing, and physical is not something to brag about. With four-star skills and three-star weak foot, he's actually looking like a good winger, but not good enough to get into the starting 11. He's got great competition in Rafinha on the right wing. But let's see if Messi managed to get any game time in his first season at Barcelona. And Messi got to play nine games all season and scored three goals. But more importantly, he's up five overalls and is now rated 83. Barca and Messi didn't win any trophies this season though, because Real Madrid had the craziest performance I've ever witnessed. They won the league, they beat us in the Supercopa, they won the Copa de España, and they beat us in the final of the Champions League. Real Madrid with Kylian Mbappe is literally cheating. We're now in season two and Messi is 19 years old and is looking to get his breakthrough season. And he's also changed kit number from 30 to 19, which is a sign from the manager that he's ready to give Messi a bigger role in the team. Looking at the squad, it looks like Grafinha has actually been sold. That is great news for Leo Messi. Mars has brought in Gravenbart and Gonzalez to strengthen their squad. Let's see how Messi will do in season two. Messi's up another two overalls, which is deserved. He scored 14 goals in 40 games, which is really good for a 19 year old. But Barca plays second again with Real in first place. But Barca actually beat him in the Super Copa final. And Messi has picked up his first career trophy. No success for Barca in the Copa de España. And Barca again met Real Madrid in the UCL and lost. And of course, Madrid won another UCL. The least we can do before we look for a transfer to another league is to win Barca the league and maybe even the Champions League. So that is our goal for now. It is going to be challenging though. Messi isn't playing with Xavi, Iniesta, Busquets like he did in real life at this stage of his career. But Lionel Lau has a crucial role in the team and it seems like he has gotten a haircut over the summer. And Barca has made some upgrades to the squad. With Dupenda replacing an aging Lewandowski and Ugarte replacing an aging Gundogan in the midfield. Messi's stats are looking really nice. He's come a long way in only two seasons. 92 pace, 79 shooting, 79 passing and 87 dribbling. Let's see if Messi can help Barca back to their prime. He's again scored 14 goals and he's picked up a lot of assists. He's off to an 88 overall. But let's see if he has picked up any trophies. And Lionel Messi has finally won the league with Barca. They won by one point in front of Madrid. But Messi and Barca didn't have any luck in the cups. And they lost already in the round of 16 against Leipzig in the Champions League. Now that we have won the league with Barca, we only got one trophy left before Messi's stay at Barca is complete. And that is the Champions League. It is year 2026 and it is time for Leo Messi to play his first ever World Cup. He's received kit number 18 on the national team and he's only one of many promising talents like Garnacho and Almada in the squad. Messi and Argentina placed first in the group with Messi scoring two group stage goals. They smashed Northern Ireland 5 0 in the round of 16. They barely beat Romania in the quarters and in the semi Messi went up against Portugal and Ronaldo who is playing his last ever World Cup and they won 3 0 to make it into the final against Mexico. Argentina had a slow start but everything changed when Mexico received a red card in the 50th minute. Almada, Pansla Turu, and it is 1-0 to Messi and Argentina. Messi, into La Turu. To Almada, 2-0 to Argentina. And Alejandro Garnacho would secure the World Cup for Messi by scoring the third goal. And Messi has won his first ever World Cup. Now he only needs one more to complete the World Cup objective. Messi is entering his fourth season and has now got the honor to wearing kit number 10. Legendary players like Ronaldinho and Rivaldo has worn it before him. Barca has gotten rid of Pedri, Arroyo and Dest. And they have brought in Lacro and Porro. Let's find out if Messi can finally win his first Champions League. These are the Ballon d'Or nominees in 2026. And Vinicius Jr. won the Ballon d'Or. Messi is now rated 90 overall. Still a 
long way to 99. But Messi has had the best ever season with 28 goals in all competitions. Madrid beat Barca in the title race and in the Supercopa final. But Messi won another trophy from the Copa de España after beating Villarreal. On to the Champions League. Winners of the group stage beat Man City in the round of 16. And they beat Real Madrid in the quarters. Barca has not been let with their opponent so far. And they are in the final against Dortmund after beating Benfica. Messi is ready for his first UCL final. Richarlison, out of all people, scored for Dortmund in the 47th minute. But Tupenda equalized to make it into extra time. But after a goalless extra time, it was time for a penalty shootout. Messi scored his penalty. But Balde missed his and Calabria got the chance to win it for Dortmund. And Dortmund has won the penalty shootout and Messi has failed to win his first UCL. It is time for Messi to look for a transfer to another club. Real Madrid wanted Messi's signature. But there is no way we're gonna let that happen. And Liverpool wanted a signature for $370 million. That is a crazy price tag for a 21-year-old. And Juventus has made a bid for Messi. It would be interesting to see how Messi would do in the Serie A. And Lionel Messi is set to lead the club who made him into one of the world's most promising talents. The Argentinian wonder kid has arrived in Turin and Juventus has secured a number 10. And he's already one of the world's best. This is Messi's new teammates at Juventus. Vlahovic, Valverde, De Jong, Schlotterbeck are now all playing alongside Lionel Messi. Let's make our way through Messi's first season in Italy. We got the exact same Ballon d'Or nominees as last year and Vinny Jr. picked up the Ballon d'Or this year as well. Messi's again up another two of roles. But Juventus finished third in the league. They lost to Napoli in the Super Cup and they got knocked out in a quarter finals by Torino. And Messi again met Man City in the UCL and they lost 3-0 on aggregate. Not exactly a dream debut season for Messi, but he has shown that he could perform in other leagues than La Liga. Juventus has made some changes during the summer. With De Jong and Schlotterbeck leaving the club, they have brought in Cavavinga to replace De Jong and they have brought in Matson to strengthen their defense. Messi's stats are looking ridiculous. He got 99 acceleration. Let's see if he can put that pace to work. And Messi is nominated for his first ever Ballon d'Or. But it was Mbappe who won it. Messi is up one overall and he scored 27 goals, same as last season. But Messi has won his first ever Serie A title. Now he could tick off one more league on the top four league objective. He picked up another trophy from the Super Cup, but Juventus only reached the round of 16 in the Coppa Italia. But in the Champions League, Messi and Juventus fought their way into the final against Real Madrid. Things did not start great for Juventus. With the Ballon d'Or winner Kylian Mbappe banging in his first goal. And Vinny Jr. made it 2-0 already in the 22nd minute. But Kamavinga gave Messi's hope back for UCL win with an equalizer in the 65th minute. But then Jude Bellingham got played through on goal and he made it 3-1 to win the Champions League yet another time for Real Madrid. And Messi has lost yet another final. Messi has recovered from the UCL final loss and his teammates has grown a lot since last season. Valverde, Calafiori and Vlaovic are looking incredible. Juventus has also brought in Barrios to replace Rovea who wanted to lead the club. Let's make our way through season 7. Messi is nominated for Ballon d'Or this year as well. But Kylian Mbappe again picked up the award. We're gonna have to win the Champions League with Messi or else Vini Jr. and Mbappe are gonna win the Ballon d'Or the next 10 seasons. Messi's down rated 95 overall. He's starting to close in on the 99 overall objective. He scored 24 goals, but he also received 11 assists. Another decent season. But is it Ballon d'Or worthy? Let's find out. They won the Serie A this year as well. No trophies from the Cups. And they lost in a semi-final against Man City in the Champions League. Messi's literally playing against Man City in every Champions League. I think it may be a sign for the future. All the players are headed on international duty for the World Cup 2030. This is how Argentina's lineup is looking. Garnacho is now rated 87 and that bench is also looking really really good with Alvarez and Sule. Messi has also gotten the honor of wearing the legendary number 10 kit for Argentina. They made it up to the group stage. They again met Portugal and they won 2-0. They lost to England in the quarterfinal. Messi has failed to defend the World Cup title for Argentina. Messi is back at the club after a disappointing World Cup performance. The season 8 looks bright for Leo Messi with this squad by his side. Chiesa has been replaced in the starting 11 by Martinelli. That Valverde card is looking too good. Let's make our way through the season. Messi is nominated this year as well and Messi is going to attend his first ever ball D'Or ceremony. And he has won the Ballon d'Or. The first one for Leo Messi. Now he only got five more to win. And what a season it has been for Leo Messi. A career best 36 goals in all competitions. And he's one overall closer to 99. Juventus won the league. Lost the Super Cup final to Torino. But Messi and Juventus won the Coppa Italia. Messi actually got a shot at winning the treble. They estimated after the group stage. Juventus knocked out Arsenal in the round of 16. They smashed PSG to make it into the semi. Where they met Marseille. And Messi is in the final of the Champions League against Chelsea. Let's see how it went. Chelsea they dominated the first half and they had a lot of chances. But Valverde found Vlaovic in the 65th minute and he should have scored. But Vlaovic got one last chance in the 86th minute and he scored to win the final for Juventus and Leo Messi. Messi gets to raise the UCL trophy for the first time in his career and one out of four UCL trophies is secured. Messi has won everything at Juventus and it might be time for a club switch. I am putting him up for transfer and the perfect offer has come in. Man City has bid a whooping 425 million dollars for Leo Messi. That is a no-brainer. Messi says goodbye to Juventus after four great seasons.
season and he's on his way to conquer the Premier League. Messi is now 26 years old and he's Manchester City's new number 10. This is how the squad is looking in 2031. Holland, Foden, Rodri, Nunes and Ederson are still at the club. City has also brought in Bastoni, Davies, Joro, Kabure and Echeverri. And Man City got a 66 rated Antonio Rudiger in the reserves. Let's see if Messi can do some magic for Man City. Messi is nominated for a Ballon d'Or which is truly the start of the last season. Kylian Mbappe managed to rob Messi for the Ballon d'Or. Messi is up another overall and he's now rated 97. And what a record breaking season that is. 36 goals. Even beat Holland in the top scorer race. And Man City won the Premier League by a mile. They got 93 points. Messi now has the Premier League win and he now only needs the Bundesliga to complete the objective. No luck in the Cups for Man City. But they made it all the way to the final in the UCL where they met Bayer Leverkusen. City went out 1 0. But Leverkusen managed to score 4 goals back to win the Champions League. Messi were looking forward to win his second UCL trophy, but he walks home empty handed. Man City has made some changes for season 10 due to some aging players. Emery has replaced Rodri, Barguil has replaced Nunes, and Armin has replaced Ederson. No surprise that Messi is nominated for another Ballon d'Or. Can Messi win the Ballon d'Or again? And he has won another Ballon d'Or. Messi now has two Ballon d'Ors to show. Another great season from Leo with 33 goals in all competitions. But he's still at an overall of 98. But look at these stats. 99 pace, 94 shooting, 95 passing and 97 dribbling. Gold stats already. And City managed to defend their league title. And they won the FA Cup final against Wolves. But they lost the Carabao Cup final against Newcastle. Messi and Man City made it all the way to yet another final in the UCL. But they lost to Messi's former club Barca. After two goals from Messi's old teammate Openda. Messi's now entering his 11th season and he has now got the honor to captain Man City into a new season of the Premier League. No major changes in the squad but Bastoni has left the club and Otavio has been brought in and there are some new faces on the bench. Let's find out if Messi can finally reach 99 overall. He's nominated again but EA did him dirty with that picture. And Lionel Messi has won another Ballon d'Or. A third Ballon d'Or for Leo Messi. He's already the GOAT but with four more seasons to go he's gonna get some insane numbers. Another season with 30 plus goals and Leo Messi has finally become 99 rated. He has completed the objective after only 11 seasons. He's now 28 years old and are entering his prime years. And Man City won the Prem for a third time in a row. And Aston Villa is now a top team in England. Another trophy for Messi in the FA Cup. But they only reached round 3 in the Carabao Cup after getting knocked out by the Wolves. And Messi's former club Juventus knocked out City of the Champions League. Messi is having great success at City but he hasn't yet won the Champions League. So that will be the main priority for season 12. And Messi played another World Cup but Argentina got knocked out in the round of 16 by USA. This is a squad that is going to help Messi. Messi try and win his second UCL. Holden has left the club at age 35 and Man City has brought in a young talent named Petit. Let's make our way through season 12. Messi won another Ballon d'Or and now has a total of 4. Only 2 more to go. And Lionel had his career best season. 40 goals and 12 assists in all competitions is crazy. No surprise that City won the league again and they got 96 points. No luck in the caps for City. But they made it all the way to the semi in the UCL where they beat Inter to make it into another final against Bayern. And Lucas Bargual gave City a dream start with this banger in the the ninth minute but Bayern had a lot of chances and then Musiala got the ball and made it 1-1. City were so lucky in the second half. Bayern should have scored a goal with all those chances but we headed into extra time. The teams were preparing for a penalty shootout but then Echeverri got one last chance in the last minute of the game and he banged it in to win Messi his second ever UCL. Messi got to raise the trophy and his stay at Man City is now complete. We're gonna look for a transfer away from City but with that price tag and wage no one could afford him so I had to make Messi a free agent. Moving a few days forward and Messi has been picked up by Bayer Leverkusen. That is perfect because Messi has to win the Bundesliga to complete the top 4 league objective. Messi has arrived at his new club but he is now number 30 because Leverkusen's own wonder kid Florian Wirtz got the number 10. This is how the squad is looking. A lot of great players. Mukoko, Wirtz, Guler and Xavi are looking really good. Let's see if Messi can win the Bundesliga in his first season. And of course he is nominated for the Ballon d'Or. And he again won the Ballon d'Or. Messi is close to achieving gold status. Messi has had another great season. 38 goals and 10 assists in 50 games are unreal stats. Leo Messi is at 351 goals in his career so far. If he scores 49 goals in the last two seasons, he is at 400. Leverkusen finished second in the league behind Frankfurt. And Frankfurt also beat Leverkusen in the cup. Onto the UCL. Messi and Leverkusen didn't even make it out of the group in the UCL. Not a great first season in Germany. Messi is now 31 years old and he is in his prime. Leverkusen has only brought in two new players for the season. Zeze in a center back and Willems to replace a 37-year-old Donnarumma in goal. Let's make our way through season 14. 
14. And Messi won his sixth Ballon d'Or. This is starting to get too easy for Messi. He has completed the Ballon d'Or objective with one season to go. And he is probably gonna win the next year as well with these stats. 44 goals and 11 assists in all competitions. The Bundesliga is no challenge for Messi. It is understandable though with these stats. The Bayer Leverkusen seems to not be in their best era. Fourth in the league, knocked out by München in round three and lost to Messi's former club Juventus in the quarters of the UCL. I think Bayer Leverkusen has to do some serious changes for Messi's last season. You can't have a prime 99 rated Messi on a team and not even win the Bundesliga. It seems like Messi has grown a beard and colored his hair blonde during the summer. This is how the squad is looking after Leverkusen has made some changes. A wonder kid named Watkins has been brought in and a beast of a center back named Cardoso has also joined the club. Let's see if Messi can pick up his first trophy at Leverkusen. Another year, another Ballon d'Or nominee for Messi. But did he manage to win yet another Ballon d'Or? Yes, of course he did. He's now up to seven Ballon d'Ors. No one can stop Messi from picking up the Ballon d'Or literally every single year. After Mbappe and Vinicius retired, it has been no competition at all. Messi scored 36 goals and not a great performance. He's now at 431 career goals and the goal objective has been completed. But he has actually been downgraded by two overall. I don't know why. But 97 overall is still insane. And Messi and Leverkusen has finally won the Bundesliga. Messi has now won in every top four league and the objective is complete. But Leverkusen got knocked out already in round two of the cup by Elvers. But never heard of that team. Messi has no chance at winning four UCLs. But he can at least finish by style by winning his last average Champions League. Leverkusen won their group. They beat Messi's childhood club in the round of 16. They smashed Napoli 7-2 on aggregate. And in the semi, they played against Lens. And they won to make it into the final against Atletico Madrid. They match went goalless until the final minute. Mukuku found Messi, who then found Usu. And he scored a last minute winner to win Messi his third ever UCL. We have made it all the way to year 2038. And it is the year for Messi's last ever World Cup. This will also be his last shot at winning two World Cups. Team looks a bit weaker than when Messi won the World Cup last time. Argentina placed third in the group stage, but due to luck, they qualified for being the best third place and made it into the knockouts. They knocked out England in the round of 16 after winning 1-0, and they beat Sweden in the quarterfinal. And no way they beat Italy as well to make it into yet another World Cup final. And they're playing against Portugal. And Argentina won 1-0. Messi has won his second World Cup, and he has completed the double World Cup objective. He even got into the team of the tournament. What a career it has been for Leo Messi. He reached 99 overall rating, he won 7 Ballon d'Ors, 3 UCLs, and he won the Bundesliga, Serie A, Premier League and La Liga on top of that. And he banged in a total of 431 goals. And if you enjoyed this video, you might also want to check out this video right here.